Okay, my name is Dr. Saidi from Muhimbili University of Health and the Allied Science. Na leo hii katika online program yetu tutakuwa tunaangazia topic ya coordination, okay? Kama tunafahamu kwamba coordination ni moja kati ya topic ambazo ni refu sana kwa advanced biology, sawa? Na pia topic hii imecontain mambo mengi na wanafunzi wengi wa form 6 wanakuwa wanashindwa kuimaster mapema topic hii kutokana na jinsi ilivyokuwa refu na kwamba imecontain mambo mengi kwa hiyo naomba tuwe pamoja mwanzo hadi mwisho ili kwa wale wale form 6 ambao hawaja master topic hii basi waweze kukava zile miss zile concept ambazo walizimiss na pia kwa wale form 5 ambao pia nao wanajiprepare kwa ajili ya mtihani wao wa form 6 hapo mwakani basi naomba nao tuwe pamoja ili waweze kuimaster mapema topic hii okay kwa just the coordination general concept coordination ni mawasiliano au communication okay is a communication between one organ and another within this body that maana by definition nasema kwamba is a linking together au is a communication au is a connection of the function of different organ of the body kwa ni mawasiliano baina ya viungo tofauti katika mwili so that they work at a time and rate required by the body ili kufanya kazi kwa kushirikiana kwa mashirikiano sawa Kwa type of coordination, type of coordination, system and their differences Kwa based on the mode of transfer of information from one point to another within the body Coordination to media katika makundi maku mawili Nervous coordination and hormonal, hormonal coordination, ok? Tutangalia deep la pombele is a type of coordination, nervous and hormonal coordination Lakini kwanza hati tuangalia general concept Nervous coordination hii na kwa ni mode of coordination system ambo kwa kwamba information zina kwa transferred from one point to another in the body in the form of electrical potential or in the form of nerve impulse or in the form of action potential okay kwa tutaangalia vizuri the action potential how zina kwa transferred from one point to another and how the body body inaweza ku detect stimuli na vipi body inaweza ku differentiate between weak and strong stimulus sawa kwa naomba tuwe pamoja lakini pia tuna hormonal coordination hormonal coordination hii ni type of coordination system ambapo kwamba information zina kwa transferred from one organ from one point of the body to another in the form of chemical substance. Okay, kwa hii katika mode hii ya coordination tunakuwa tunatumia chemical substance noun is noun is hormone. Hormone ni chemical messenger. Messenger hao wanakuwa released from one part of the body noun is gland na wanaenda ku stimulate au wanaenda ku inhibit kitendo katika another part of the body noun is target organ okay basi naomba tuwe pamoja katika endocrinology tutakuja kuangalia how hormonal coordination inafanya kazi different type of hormone tutaangalia mode of action na composition zao sawa wacha tuangalie difference baina nervous na hormonal coordination japo kwa kifupi nervous coordination ya kwanza kwamba it involve rapid transmission of nerve impulse kwa kama tulivyosema kwamba hii nervous coordination Sometimes pia inaitua kwamba ni electrical coordination Kwa sababu information zina kwa transferred from one point to another In the form of electrical potential Or in the form of nerve impulse Na kama nafahamu speed ya umeme ni kugwa Kwa kama hizi information zina kwa transferred in the form of electrical wave Kwa numata nasema kwamba It involve rapid transmission of nerve impulse Usafirishaji wa information na kwa kwa haraka Speed yake na kwa ni haraka kukompea na hormonal coordination Sawa Laika tika hormonal coordination Tuna homoni wa ina nyingi, lakini all homoni na kwa transferred from one point to another, slow, slow, lakini ukiachana na hui homoni ambaye ni adrenaline homoni, adrenaline homoni ya na kwa transmitted faster, lakini hawa wengine ambao mpano kina ADH, kina uzitosin homoni, na kwa transferred from one point to another, na speed yao na kwa nindogo kikompea na ya hui adrenaline homoni. Kwa adrenaline homoni, kwa hui exception to adrenaline homoni, it has a relative slow transmission of information. Kwa ukiachana na adrenaline hormone, nambayo huu transmission of information na kwa nikubwa, au speed yaki ya huu transfer from one point to another, from the site of releasing ya mbao ni katika adrenal gland, inakuwa ni speed yaki na kwa nikubwa ukilinganisha na hawa hormone wengine. Na adrenal hormone, tuja kuangalia, kutangalia mbele katika endocrinology, adrenaline hormone, kwa nini na kwa releasing, katika speedi kubwa au transmission yake kwa nini inafanyika katika transmission katika speedi kubwa hii ni kwa sababu ya umuhimu wake adrenaline hormone kwa sababu adrenaline hormone inakuwa natolewa kipindi 
kipindi cha high tension na ndio maana anaitwa kwamba flight and fight hormone. Sawa. So, Tutaangalia vizuri katika kodi katika endocrinology kwa nini huyu anaitwa flight and fight hormone na mode of releasing na vipi anafanya kazi na how ana control body activity. Sawa. Kwa naomba kwa moja. Okay. Uh, difference ya pili it show rapid response. Kwa katika katika nervous coordination response inakuwa ipo very fast okay compare na katika hormonal coordination kama tulivyosema kwamba even tukiangalia kesi ya transfer of information transfer of information katika nervous coordination inakuwa ipo faster kwa even hata kile kitendo response ni kile kitendo ambacho inakuwa done by the body in response to stimulus okay kwa tukisema kwamba hii response yake ipo faster ni sawa sawa na kusema kwamba activity inakuwa inafanywa na body very fast Okay, kwa tukisema kwamba hii na show rapid response, it means that kwamba kitendo kinakuwa kinatokezea haraka haraka. Once adrenaline hormone anapokuwa release, basi anakwenda kusimulate kile kitendo kiweze kutoke, kutokezea haraka tofauti na na hawa hormone na na hii mode of coordination ambayo ni chemical coordination ambayo inatumia hormone kiasi kwamba mpaka mpaka wale chemical messenger au hormone wa release into the blood hadi kufikia katika ile target organ kwa hiyo unachukua muda hata kile kitendo kutokezea inakuwa kiko kiko very slow ndio maana tunasema kwamba hawa it is response is very very slow sawa eh? also the pathway is specific through a nerve cell kwa hiyo pia information zinakuwa transmitted from receptor to effector au from one point of the body to another kwa pathway maalum tukisema the pathway is specific inamaanisha kwamba information zinakuwa zina direct pathway from receptor to effector. Tayari na pathway hii katika nervous coordination inakuwa ni nerve cell. Tutaangalia composition ya nerve cell lakini in general kwamba composition ya nerve cell ina yes ni tunisa sana kusema ndio ile ile kesi kama ya form 4 ambayo kwamba ni neuroni. Tutaangalia mbele hapo general structure of neuroni, tutaangalia vipi neuroni anaweza kufanya kazi ku facilitate hiyo rapid transmission of information. Sawa? Lakini huku kulingana katika hormonal coordination it is transmitted by blood through by blood stream throughout the body. Kwa transmission yake huko katika katika hormonal coordination inakuwa inasafirishwa katika through kwa kupitia blood blood stream kupitia mishipa ya damu throughout the body. Okay? Kwa huku transmission inakuwa ni specific. Information inatoka katika one point direct kwenda katika point ambayo imekusudiwa. Okay? Lakini huku katika hormonal coordination chemical messenger ambao ni hormone anaingizwa katika damu na na travel around the whole body okay kwa kadri damu inavyosafiri basi na wale chemical messenger wanakuwa wanasafiri hadi wanafikia kile kile kiungo ambacho kimekusudiwa au target organ sawa kwa hiyo na nasema kwamba pathway yake huko sio specific kwa sababu wa chemical messenger zinaingizwa kwenye damu na kila sehemu ambayo damu inapita basi na wale chemical messenger wanakuwa wanapita kwa hiyo hawana hawana sehemu maalum ya kufanya yani hawana sehemu maalum hawana sehemu maalum ya kupitia hadi kufikia katika ile target organ sawa na ndio maana transmission yake inatokezea katika katika blood na hata response inakuwa ipo very slow kwa sababu chemical messenger na check muda mkubwa hadi kufikia ile target organ sawa lakini pia difference nyingine it is short time change kwa katika nervous coordination change inakuwa ni only for a very short period of time lakini katika hormonal coordination it is long term change na kwani long term change kwa mfano tutaangalia mfano katika gross gross hormone tayari gross hormone effect yake kama tatolewa leo basi inaweza kachukua muda mrefu tayari kwa hiyo nasema kwamba ni change ambayo zinatokezea for long period of time pia difference nyingine kwamba it involve both electrical and chemical transmission kwa huku kunatokezea electrical transmission and chemical transmission of information wakati gani inatekezea electrical transmission tutakuja kuangalia katika structure of neuron na katika mode of action of neuron tutaangalia kwamba kutokuwa kuna electrical kuna electrical transmission of information ambayo hii inatekezea kwenye axon lakini pia kutakuwa kuna chemical transmission ambayo hii inatekezea kwenye synapse sawa lakini huku katika hormonal coordination it involve only chemical transmission of of signal okay maana yake information kuna kwa transmitted only in the form of chemical messenger now is na unaweza hormone Difference nyingine ni kwamba the response is very localized for example one masters kwa katika katika nervous coordination kile kitendo inakuwa ni very 
localized ukisema ni very localized sasa na kusema kwamba is very specific yani maana ile effect ya ile nervous coordination inakuwa only to a specific region ambayo inakuwa directed tumelewa vizuri so kama tulivyosema transmission yake inatokezewa katika kupitia specific pathway basi pia na effect yake imekuwa katika specific organ lakini huku katika hormonal coordination the response may be very wide spread for example for example growth hormone kwa response huku kitendo kinaweza kuwa very wide spread maana kinatokezea katika sehemu nyingi za mwili kwa mfano growth hormone akitolewa anaenda ku stimulate growth katika kila kiungo kiungo cha mwili so la nectar nectar question how hormonal coordination differ from nervous nervous coordination also question nyingine give reason why animal respond very fast then plant kwa toa sababu kwa nini kwa nini animals wana respond very fast to, wana respond very fast to stimulus compared to plant okay kwa hii ni kwa sababu ni kwa sababu animal wanakuwa wamepossess animal wanakuwa wamepossess na wamepossess nervous system ambayo nervous system hii cause answer is this is because animal have now have nervous system nervous coordination which give rapid transmission and response due to due to stimulus na hiyo ndio kwa sababu na kwa maana hiyo wao ndio wanakuwa wana okay because oh, this is because animal have nervous coordination which give rapid transmission and response due due to stimulus kwa well, nervous coordination ambayo wapo nayo wale animal ndio inasababisha wao na respond faster to stimulus compared to as compared to plant sawa so, okay kwa hiyo naomba usikose katika kipengele ambacho kinachofuata ambacho tutaangalia deep zaidi coordination just like one kama general concept au introduction to, to coordination okay kwa namba tuwe pamoja katika lecture ambayo zinaendelea sawa